Okay, so this is for the quilt I'm gonna make. These are all pillow covers, uh, throw pillow covers um, that I ordered inexpensively. Most of them are from wish.com. Um, so I just wanted to show you just a few of them. Um, I'm not gonna use all of them. Look how cool those are. Look how cool, oh, let me move this. Look how cool. Not gonna use all of them, so I'm gonna go through them and find, look how cool, how cool will that be? Oh my God, come on. Ah. And this one, bit of green. I like a bit of green, depending on the green. And look, see, this will be a nice white one. Look at that one, blah, 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 blah. There's a tiny baby. Not sure, the size is just so off. And a little bat, lamb. I think that's a dog, I think. But I like that there's writing on it. I like a bit of writing. Look at that one. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. And then this one, I love a portrait in there. Love that. And with a black. Another baby. This one, look at the cow. I'm not sure I'm going to use this because in person it's kind of hard to make out what it is. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but I like that one. And that's a black. A little fawn. Uh, oh, it's uh, like a, I don't know, like a muskrat or something. Cute, cute, cute. Black cat, love. And then this is a bird. Sorry, they're upside down. Another bird and a black champagne and skunk, I think, and some more birds. Yeah, I said I wasn't going to show them all to you, but they're all so cool. So I need to decide, oops, which ones I'm going to use and how many, because um, I still want to put in some solid fabrics and, you know, fabrics that just aren't, you know, a picture. So anyway, I'll get that figured out and show you what we come up with. Okay, brr. Okay, so I have used my quilt pattern. I used this quilt pattern on Connie's, my sister's uh, quilt as well. Um, I'll show you that quilt. Um, So I did 24, I made lots of white, Matt was a, um, I just like white. Um, so now I'm going to see if I can't lay it out and try and figure out a design for it. So it's going to be uh, four across and six down. So it's going to be fairly, fairly small, well kind of small. Anyway, okay, be right back. Okay, so here it is, look how cool. I know it's hard to tell right now, but this is going to be a really killer. Oh, that looks really cool. All right, so now it is sewing time. <laughs> anyway, okay, so I'm going to do that. Um, not sure you're too interested in that, but I might show you a little bit of it so you can laugh along with me as I try and sew. <laughs> anyway. Okay, and this is a twin size, really comfy. Look at, oh, it's so soft. So I think I'm gonna put this side facing out. Okay, here it is just before I put on the backing. Look how cute it turned out. Oh my God, and the colors are just perfect for my little house. Look how cute. Oh my God, I love it. I love it. Excuse me, boopers. Excuse me, Grayson. Look. <gasps> Grayson's in awe. 
<laughs> okay, so we are at the point where I'm going to put a bit of embroidery thread there. Just a little, tiny little puff. Just, you know, a couple strands, I think. Just to, I don't know, just an extra detail. Um, so it's going to, I've put on the back. So soft. It turned out really well. Um, I think I've already told you several zillion times I am not a seamstress by any means. So this is, you can see. See, it's so not perfect. It's so not perfect. And there are lots of, you know, things like that. But it's good enough for me. Oh yeah, that's cute. Okay. All right, moving on. I always love it when the end of a project is near. <laughs> okay. You know, I like this because it's a bit, it's very fun, but it's, you know, I, I think it's the color choices mainly, but it's, it's to me it reads, fairly sophisticated. Um, I, again, I think that's because of the color choices. And I guess the choice of the fabric pieces aren't bad either in that regard. I mean, I could have gotten comical. That one's done, that one's done, 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 okay, done, 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 okay, done, 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 all right, phew, done. Okay, I tried to spread it out, spread out my quilt, so you guys could see it better. This is the cat. See, I'm just not a great <laughs> seamstress, I'm just not. <laughs> but anyway, I think it turned out pretty cool. That's a big old oxen, I think, or, yeah, oxen, bull, I don't know. And there's a lamb, champagne little label. Look at the portrait. I love the portrait. Love that. Look at that one. There's another oxen. And muskrat or something. I don't know. A little lamb, a little fawn. Fawn, sorry. Black corduroy. Look at that one. Another little champagne. And a skull and crossbones. And the others are just fabric I had. This is a Mat Lise bedspread that fell apart. And this is a an IKEA uh, throw pillow cover, thrift store fabric. And look at the lamb, so cute. Thrift store fabric, thrift store fabric, Mat Lise bedspread, thrift store fabric, thrift store fabric. Oh, it turned out so fabulous. I love the portrait. So fabulous. I just wanted to spread it out so you guys could see. I'm going to put it back on the chair. Grayson really likes lying on top of it. <laughs> but it's washable. And look at the little... That's the little detail I did. On my sister's, I did little pearl buttons. So I just wanted something very, very simple. It turned out, I think, I feel, farmhouse-y, sophisticated, and fun. And I like that. I love that. Not your ordinary farmhouse. Okay, right.
Okay, so now we are going to make what I call my chunky potpourri. I'm going to use this really cool old metal uh, dish that I got at uh, Value Village. There, four bucks. I've already put on these little belt protectors because it's really rusty and old. Anyway, so this is the vessel we're going to use. And let me show you the components that I have so far. So this is just from Dollar Tree, but I like the really pretty chartreuse color in it. And I smell it. It smells pretty good. It's coconut and citrus, and you can really smell the citrus, which I like. So I thought that'd be good for summer because, yeah, I'm still not done with summer. It's only August, first week of August or something like that. So this is what we're going to use as our base. And then I just get like chunky odds and ends and bits and pieces. So I found also at Dollar Tree this sea glass. And I really like the white and seafoam color. So I think we'll probably just stick with the white. But anyway, so I have three bags of that. So that'll go in there. And then I have a bunch of my white seashells, white painted seashells, and some Dollar Tree starfish. And then these are some Dollar Tree seashells that I painted black and white wax. And I think they turned out pretty, pretty cool. So I don't know that they'll make it in because they're black and there isn't a lot of black going in here, but we'll see. So those are a possibility. And then I got, also from Dollar Tree, some faux succulents. And I, again, I really like the chartreuse color. So we have that. And then this I also ugh, picked up at the thrift store for seven bucks. And it's just a vase filler kind of thing. What do they call it? Home Decor Botanicals. So it's, it's, you know, like one of those Pottery Barn type deals. This one looks like it's for Christmas. It's got some silver glitter. But anyway, I thought it we could use some stuff from this. Let us put in our base. All right. And if there are any pieces in that we don't like, we just pick them out. Like this. We do not need that, whatever that is. We do not need that. <laughs> okay. And how about these little guys? We do not need the silica. Yeah, I don't really care for these nutshells. So we will put them back. Yeah, no. They just look too... I'm not even crazy about these, these guys. Let's put those away. Okay, so now we've got... Oh, that's kind of cool. Now we've got basically green stuff with a bit of brown mixed in, which I like. Okay, let's do the other bag. Smells good. Only a buck fifty a bag. I think that's such a good deal. I went online to check out prices of potpourri. I haven't purchased potpourri in decades. I used to a lot, because I like this chunky potpourri that I do. And I don't remember it being, you know, $15, $20 a bag for crying out loud. Holy moly. There's a hair. I don't want a hair. <laughs> oh, you guys, this smells really good. Really, really good. This is going to go in my living room on the table. Time to change the uh, coffee table display up a bit. Let's see. Oh, silica. We, we, we don't need that in there. <laughs> These little hair things we don't want. 
Yeah, don't like that. Don't like that. That looks pretty good. Oh. All right. I think we're happy with that, you guys. Look how pretty that is already. Look how pretty that is. I love that. Okay. Um, let us see about some... Oh, look at that. Okay. Let's see about some shells. Because it does have to tie in with our... Another hair. Gee whiz. I think these are husk hairs. That's what, that's, that's what I'm going with anyway. <laughs> okay. Let's get rid of the husk hair. And then we do still have this guy. So let's see what we have in here. We have lots of these. I don't really care for those all that much in here. Look at, I like that too. But they'll go in something else. So we'll save those. Look at that. I don't know that we hate that. I don't know that we hate that. Okay. I look a big, big daddy. Okay. Look at this, you guys. That is cool. That is cool. I love that. It's just this big uh, gourd shell that they covered in silver glitter. I love that. That'll be for Christmas, though. Love that. Okay, then we've got another ball. This is a good vase filler. And then we have, you know, it's Canada, so we have to have pine cones, I think. I, I think. And I don't want to overdo these guys, so let's set that to the side for now. Okay. And we've got these white seeds. And I think that's kind of cool. There's another pine cone. What else? No, we've got to hate these. <laughs> I seriously hate those. We'll get rid of that. Anything that I don't use and don't foresee ever using. Like look at these. These are cute. I don't know if you can tell on, on, on screen, but these are silver painted little, little logs that look like stems of some sort. So we're going to save those. We can do a chunky potpourri for Christmas, too, huh? All right. Some more pine cones. I really like the look of the pine cones. Okay, and then we've got some more of these white nuts. I think these are kind of cool. All right. That's about the mixture in there. So we have some more stuff, but it's all repeats. Okay. So let's continue. Now, we've got all these different kinds of seashells. So let's, there's a nice one. Tuck that in there. Got the clam shell. And we want the little twig thingy. Looks like a piece of coral, actually. We want the, um, Take that out. There. We still want the potpourri to show. The green potpourri. We love the green potpourri. So we still want that to show a lot. Good. Okay, that looks good. Now, oh, that looks surprisingly good actually. I like that. These are our black painted Dollar Tree seashells. And they look pretty darn good actually. Let's place some of these. I mean you kind of need to place them near a white seashell for them to really show up. Okay that looks good. And then we still have starfish and then we still have sea glass. Let's see how the sea glass looks. It may not even make the cut. Let's see. So we've got some of the, oh, look at that. That actually looks cool, you guys. Let's see how the seafoam color looks. Nope. And I, I don't like the, I don't like, yeah. I mean, that looks, that looks good, but I don't, I'm not crazy about emerald green jewel looking thingies. I do like the white though. So let's sprinkle in some white. That looks, is that seafoam or white? 
Look how cute this is looking. And so freaking cheap. So easy, so cheap. I like easy and cheap. <laughs> That's what he said. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so I, I don't, let's, well, okay, let's open one more bag. Because I do like that white uh, sea glass. Oh, that's looking pretty cool. But again, we don't want to cover up all the green uh, potpourri. Okay. Because we still have these guys. Now, let's see. Let's cut off the label. I don't have to get the wire cutters. There we go. Oh, maybe I can just pull it. Hope it stays together. Anyway. Oh, look at that. Love. And we'll get this one. See if we like that. This smells good, you guys. I can't believe how good this smells for a dollar store potpourri. Let's see. Maybe we'll put this one there. I'll we'll have to nestle. I want it nestled. Nestle, nestle, nestle. All right, I need some more white nuts. I think. There. put it in the middle. And I like it to be kind of, like I said, nestled, but, you know, so it's not jumping out at you. There, like that. What do we think? What do we think? Too close together. I like that one there. Let's see. And they're too opposite. There. Okay, what else? Okay. I think we need right here some more sea glass. Oh, that looks so good, you guys. That looks so good. What do you think? And that is our chunky potpourri. Oh, you guys. Oh, you know, the talent, the talent. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. It's just another little coral branch. Oh, you guys. This is just astoundingly cool. It really, really did turn out quite lovely. Quite lovely. Let's see. Do we need anything else, you guys? You know, this little corner here is not propped up the way I like it to be. There. Oh, you could just play around with this for a long time. I think it's really pretty good right now. I think just the two cacti, perfect. I think it's really good. All right, so let's put it on the coffee table and see how it looks. Okay, wait a minute. Since we're getting rid of what's on the coffee table right now, which had these black succul succulents in it from Dollar Tree, I love these. Look how cute that looks. Holy moly. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> yeah, I like that too. I like that too. What do you guys think? Too much? Nah. <laughs> okay. And here it is. Our chunky potpourri on my coffee table. 
Oh, excuse all that stuff. It's all going away as soon as I find a place for it. <laughs> Look how cute. Oh my God. I love it, you guys. Just love it. And it just goes so well with the house. Oh, which is so important. Right, 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 right. <laughs> yep. There's Grayson with our quilt. Look at our quilt. Oh my God. Yep. Looks good. We love our new chunky potpourri. It looks so good at my house. Look at my ceiling fan. Or it's not a fan actually, it's just a light. <laughs> love, love. What do you think? Is it looking cool? Oh my God. Yes, Simone, it's looking very cool. Oh my God, I love that. It turned out really so good, really so good. I don't know, do we like all these right next to each other like that? Oh yeah, that made a world of difference. There it is. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> okay. Okay, I forgot our keys. Let's see how they look in here. So I have a little selection. I like the bigger ones. This one kind of looks like a charm because of that little hook on the top. That little. So I don't know about that one. Um, and I don't know. It's yeah, silver. Okay, this one has a little seahorse. Meh. This one. And it has a little heart. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's see. Just kind of a barely noticeable little finishing touch. Yeah, yeah. We like it. Okay. And there it is. <laughs> Until I find something else to add. There it is. Okay, so this project, it looks really big just because of the perspective, but it's not that big. Well, it's about four feet. Anyway, um, I'm going to do an ephemera board. Uh, I don't even know what to call it. Ephemera Oh, picture or whatever. Ephemera assemblage. Oh, I like that one. Ephemera assemblage. Okay. So I've gathered just just a bunch of um, old looking stuff. Um, I've picked up a lot of stuff whoops, from wish.com. And so I'm just going to mix. And a lot of stuff I got off of Etsy. Purchased a download and printed off bunch of that stuff. This is Amazon. This is a dollar store. Fine, I got a bunch of these and I love how the glitter is peeling off and you see the black. I love this. Um, yeah, just a bunch of stuff, some old photographs, old postcards. So we're just going to put it together um, on here. And if I come up with any other little things, I will throw those in too. So, okay, let's get started. Oh, and I'm going to use E6000, and that's just because I've always used this. I've done these boards for, yeah, decades. Um, my favorite one I gave to my sister. I don't know if she still has it. I have no idea, but it was a really cool one. Um, I used to sell them, actually. Okay, so let's get started. I think we're going to lay out... Yes, I'm doing laundry. Sorry about that. It's not a project day without a laundry day. Okay, so we're going to start bringing out some of the this one's really cool this one's on canvas this is wish.com I love their stuff it's so cheap and cool okay so we're gonna start with some of the larger pieces and this I think is I don't remember maybe Etsy but look how cool so we're gonna throw in some of those and again this is just the uh, the background so we want the larger larger looking pieces. Oh, look how cool these are. These, these, I believe, yeah, these were Wish as well. Oh, I love these. Okay, so some of those. And then we've got, these are from a download I got from Etsy. So I think we'll throw in, yeah, a bunch of these. Oh, that's just from graphicsfairy.com. Look how pretty. Look how cool. I love this stuff. What's this? 
Oh, old postcard. We've got a bunch of those photographs. So, okay, let's get started. Okay, just a few more things I want to add. I found these little real jawbones. I don't know what they're to. Don't even remember getting them. There's a piece of a book binding from Gray's Anatomy. I just happen to think it's cool. And I like the colors. Still in the book somewhere. Okay. And then, made this a while ago, so we're gonna, we're gonna use it. I have a few of these. This will just be my signature, I think. Okay. And a little bit of bling. There's a rhinestone S. Almost out of glue. Heaven's sakes. Okay. That there. And then I just found these really cool bright silver leaves. I think I think I'll leave them in the pack. It says 20 cents a leaf. <laughs> Love it. Okay, so this, yeah, I think we'll just put right here-ish. Yeah. Well, no, because I've got the silver there. Well, that's okay. Yeah, no, I like it there. So right there, and I think we're just going to glue this little sticker. And hopefully that'll be enough to keep it in place. There. Oh, that's cute. Okay. Oh, then we've got huge black seashell. I think will be cool. I like seashells. This this one is geared toward me. Uh, this ephemera assemblage. I've made others that were neutral or geared towards something else or somebody else but this one's just stuff I would like colors I like things that caught my eye so we'll just put that there hope it stays I may have to get hot glue for this guy it's so big it's got a lot of touching points okay and then we've got 
our starfish from Dollar Tree. And we'll just glue the little, little feet. There we go. And then we just have our bones. Oh, this turned out really cool, you guys. Really so freaking cool. Okay. We don't need that. So cool. Let's see. And there's no rhyme or reason to where I'm putting this, obviously. It's just... Wherever strikes my fancy, as they say. I think we'll keep these all together. There. And I think that's it. Until I think of something else to add. <clears throat> okay, what do you think? Kind of an easy, cool, kind of fun project, huh? don't remember where I got the frame, but it must be a thrift store. That's, that's where I get them all. But what do you think? Okay, hang on. Ooh. I'm going to give it a little time to dry, and then I'll set it upright and give you a real look. Oh, I love it. Even the little mirror. Look at the little mirror. Hello. <laughs> love it. Love, 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 love. How fun is that? So fun, so easy. Okay.